John comes home from a hard day at work and tells Alexa to play his favorite song, a soft western tune. He goes on to tell her to order some pizza and glazed donuts. John does not get a, not tonight, John. Alexa proceeds to fill the airwaves with John's favorite Charles Marion Russell song, and 20 minutes later, pizza is at the door. As imagined in many sci-fi novels and films, like the Terminator's books, Stanley Kubrick's 2001, the idea of inanimate objects coming to life as sentient, intelligent beings have been around for decades, centuries even. Since the era of ancient Greeks, Chinese, and Egyptian philosophers and engineers, what was once an imagined as myths and far-fetched elements of a utopian is now a phenomenon that defines modern reality. Defining human thoughts as a symbolic system is the very premise of AI, and this can be tracked down to thoughts of essential philosophers. And what do I mean? These philosophers and early thinkers they propounded that cognitive experience consists of manipulations and identification of mental expressions to create certain models of which humans organize and relay information to themselves and others. It was on this rudimentary idea that AI was developed. In the breath of the Second World War, which marked significant rise in tech advancements, Progress in making AI a developed field took a critical leap forward with the Turing test by Alan Turing. The well-known mathematician raised the question of the possible intelligence of a machine for the first time in his famous 1950 article, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, and described a game of imitation where a human should be able to distinguish in a teletype dialogue whether he is talking to a man or a machine. Turning published the paper called Computing Machinery and Intelligence to present the query, I propose to consider the question, can machines think? He describes a thought experiment that he goes on to call the imitation game, where he puts a machine in one room, a person in another, and judge in the third separate room. Now, by reviewing the answers to written questions that he submits to both subjects, the judge's job is to determine which subject is the machine and which subject is the human. Turning predicted that a machine might be able to win this imitation game 30% of the time by the year 2000. Since the publication, modern scholars in many different fields have tried to poke holes in the Turing test for being inadequate. The skeptics say that the imitation game does not go far enough in defining what a thinking digital computer really means. But as Mark Halpern wrote back in 2006, Turning's paper became the seed from which future ideas have sprung. Now, however controversial Turning's article may be, it will often be cited as being at the source of the questioning of the boundary between the human and the machine. Turning, alongside John Van Neumann, another reputable pioneer of the AI field, made the immigration of computers to decimal imputation logic of zeros and ones, hence formalizing the architecture of contemporary computers capable of executing that which is programmed or instructed to do. Now, with access to massive volumes of data in the new age computer storage systems, algorithms for image classifications and recognitions came even closer to range. Computer graphics cards and processors accelerated elevation of learning algorithms and at limited financial cost, modern equipments enabled significant public success and funding of AI. This caused a sustained paradigm shift in development of machine learning and human-computer connectivism. Today, even smartphones can recognize voices and transform them to text, conceptualizing and analyzing intentions too. Ginny Rometry, former executive chairman of IBM, expressed it best when she said, some people call this artificial intelligence, but the reality is this technology will enhance us. So instead of artificial intelligence, I think we'll augment our intelligence. AI and Digital Trading AI continues shaping the future of humanity in all spheres. Consequently, machine learning has evolved and is evolving at a pace where it can predict, analyze, and recommend using available data in unavailable time. 
This progression in machine learning absorbed into digital trading is drowning away all the human dismerits embedded in the trading space. Anthony Antonucci, VP of Global Business Development at IntelliNet Global Services, recently said, when Wall Street statisticians realized they could apply AI to many aspects of finance, including investment trading applications, they could effectively crunch millions upon millions of data points in real time and capture information that current statistical models couldn't. Using guidance and advocacy from this advanced machinery, traders and stock investors compute millions of data points and execute trades at the optimal price. Analysts forecast markers with greater accuracy and trading firms efficiently mitigate risks and consequences to provide for higher returns. Here are some spectacular applications of AI to digital markets as articulated by Mike Thomas of the built-in newsletter. Green Key Technologies AI for trading using speech recognition and natural language processing technology to save traders time searching through conversions, financial data, and notes. Now, with the company's platform, financial professionals are using AI to sift through and access notes, market insights, and trending companies in real time. Aquina's data science competition platform democratizes trading by allowing data scientists from all backgrounds to produce algorithmic trading strategies that help solve investment challenges. As a result, investment clients can reap the benefits of data science without the need for pricey in-house expertise. IBM-affiliated Equibot's proprietary investment technology combines AI with an active exchange-traded fund, ETF. Now, by gathering and processing data gleaned from various sources, news articles, social media postings, financial statements around the world, the company systematizes the investment process to build a cause and effect understanding of the markets, companies, and management. Equibot recently launched the AI-powered International Equity ETF targeting opportunities in developed international markets outside the U.S. Infinite Alpha uses AI to facilitate secured crypto asset trading. It offers protection to trading professionals via advanced authentication, encryption, hardware security modules, and more. Using its intuitive dashboard interface, users can easily access account details, balances, and transaction histories of their crypto catalog. The list goes on and on proving emphatically that the popular notion that you cannot get out of the computers any more than you put in it is as illogical as saying Shakespeare never wrote anything except what his first school teacher taught him to write. Words. By energizing evolutionary intelligent technology alongside deep learning algorithms, AI systems have been nurtured into an accumulative system that utilizes vast amounts of data to double assets and enhance trading decisions. But how does this impact the ever-evolving crypto trading world? And is it relevant in that space? AI and Crypto Trading David Einhorn, CEO of Greenhorn Capital, had this to say about the 2008 global financial crisis. What strikes me the most about the recent credit market crisis is how fast the world is trying to go back to business as usual. In my view, the crisis wasn't an accident. We didn't get unlucky. The crisis came because there have been a lot of bad practices and a lot of bad ideas. You may hear a lot about how awful it got during this period for investors in the Wall Street. To recall, if you weren't old enough during that time, college funds were gone. Funds tied up in the stock market did not survive the crash. Lives were thrown off track as cost to pay off loans became overwhelming for individuals who are still paying off these loans years after the horrific incident. Basically, futures got mortgaged and got put on hold and ransacked, and this was the case all over the country. The terms liquidity crisis, recession, overleveraged, mortgage-backed security became so popular during this financial crisis. The name Bernie Mardoff also sticks after using unbelievable financial stakeholder structure to swindle unassuming investors. Incidents like this fueled the growing dislike and distrust towards Wall Street 
and the investor's market. It was more popular a stance that the stock market is no level playing field. Regardless of the resisting narratives being propagated by some market experts that the stock market is trustworthy and operates sincerely, the reliance on its own structure is a behemoth of an obstacle to its claim of transparency. Trading gains are still tilted towards larger institutions, hedge funds, and whale investors. At the expense of individual traders and less resourced investors, these sophisticated and fully equipped group of people grab the market by the juggler and dictate trade results. They have insider information and unethically use this to their own advantage. This imbalance is so pronounced that it is exerted on value of digital currencies and commodities. I say this matter-of-factly, individual traders are at the mercy of their bodies. The crypto market manipulation gives the saying, sheep led to slaughter, new meaning, as traders who go about unaware of this background play are called sheep in the crypto trading world. Anything goes in the crypto market. Spoofing, wash trading, tape painting, and all the other dodges that dishonest traders use. The distribution of crypto assets is often uneven, resulting in some entities holding large proportions of a crypto asset's total supply. For instance, each one of approximately 9,000 addresses currently hold Bitcoin XBT, that is worth at least $1 million. Now, such entities are called whales because they have the potential to cause sudden and massive price moves. This paints a disturbing picture of systematic market manipulation by some exchanges involving the biggest whales. Lewis Grant of i -squared Developments expressed, it is my belief that growth cannot resume until we have achieved a sound enough trading environment. The ecosystem market cap and awareness have blown way past the point when we could afford to allow such blatant manipulation. Nevertheless, a few successful investors are implementing the favors of AI to navigate around the turmoil and ascertain a firm grasp of significant and consistent profits in the investment world. By applying proper testing, deployment, and selection, the craft of trading with help of an AI has become the equalizer of sorts. These AI elements, otherwise called bots, absorb and detect differing and similar trends in crypto trading features, analyzing blockchain-related data like the intensity of transaction, how fast and how much mining is on, assessing the trade and limit orders of these whales, and indicating their next buys or sells. Trade bots are meta traders as they eliminate the restrictions of being an individual human trader, making available to you a self aware system of data apprehension unit. Trade bots are hardly exclusive, and even when they are, they are guarded and made available for a limited amount of users for a limited period of time. Bots are highly privatized because the market hunts popular knowledge or tools to feed on. Regulation is then used as a stifle against these levelers. For the sake of this, bots are highly covert and hardly made accessible for public and commercial use. Even though there are hundreds of AI units or bots all over the crypto trading domain employed by developers to house as many traders as they can, only a few are as proud table as guaranteed. Getting the bot you need is like going after a needle in the haystack. So yes, despite the volatility of the crypto market and the frequent fluctuations, daily traders earn stable and calculated income using trusted AI technology. History of Trade Bots and Craynet Bots Craynet is an all-in-one control interface for the modern crypto trader. Built from the ground up by newfangled conceptual experts and crypto trade specialists, Craynet has been designed to provide an experience that is unmatched, whether you are a crypto newbie or an advanced trader. The objective is to provide traders one single point of control for all their activities. It was Richard Donkian who developed a trend-following technique in trading is the ground on which the house of modulation and technological trading is built. The concept of automated trading in the early 40s was designed in simple procedures of presetting certain rules for buying and selling bonds and assets. 
There were a number of different techniques, calculations, and timeframes that may be used to determine the general direction of the market to generate a trade signal, forex signals, including the current market price calculation, moving averages, and channel breakouts. Traders who employ this strategy do not aim to forecast or predict specific price levels, they simply jump on the trend and ride it. Due to the different techniques and timeframes employed by trend followers to identify trends, trend followers as a group are not always strongly correlated to one another. So, this early trading technique was just traders examining behavioral biases, chart pattern, business cycles, information cascade, and herd behavior, and how they may affect the general flow of the market. They had the maxim, didn't fight the tape, the trend is your friend. As far as they knew, you better jump on the bandwagon. If the broad market is moving up, do not bet on a downward move. During this time, it was more about the art than the science. The idea of rules-based systems trading became more popular amongst traders in the 1980s when famous traders like Turtle Trader Richard Dennis and Boston Red Sox owner John Henry began applying mathematical entry and exit rules to the commodity markets. As technology improved, the barriers to entry for retail investors to use trading systems became less severe over time. During the mid-1990s, some trend-following models were made available for purchase as investors could use their own personal computers to crunch data and generate signals before calling their broker with trades for the day. It was not until the late 90s that the enhancement of the internet allowed traders to begin running systems on live data and generating signals for their accounts in real time. The advent of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange's m and features in the late 1990s was the final push for trading systems to enter the mainstream, allowing traders to bypass the trading floor with orders routed to an electronic exchange called Globex. Now, a computer could not just calculate what order should be placed, but place the trade direct on the exchange as well. The trading systems as a standalone investment through your futures broker have partial roots back to Attain Capital's funding partner, Walter Gowas. In 1998, Walter asked one of his clients, Jack Telford, if Jack would consider allowing some of Walter's other clients to follow the signals of a trading system Mr. Telford had coded into TradeStation. Mr. Telford said yes, for a small fee. And in doing so, the system assist model, as it is known today, was born. Prior to that, people purchased trading systems, and system developers had to support software, build websites, handle payments, and field customer calls. Today, most system assist business is done via a monthly subscription to the signals, with the client never having contact with the developer of the system. It's been a long road from then to modern computational trade system. The history of CrayNet is tied with the history of modern-day trading bots. There was an outright surge of bot users in crypto trading in the early 2010s as it became widespread knowledge that, as a matter of fact, all human deficiencies associated with trading online can be eliminated and profit-making can become so certain that the question becomes, how much profit? Just like Richard Donkian's rule-based trading, which took 30 years to become popular with traders, bots have been used in the most discreet fashion to facilitate longevity and to steer clear of market hacks or whales. We began enlisting Apex Valued Hands in 2015, and in October of 2016, a group of Mideastern and European algorithmic developers were recruited to begin the code writing of our first model. This bot proved highly fruitful and was only made available to a financial institution encompassing a group of investing individuals. After a number of months, our marketing team sent proposals to a few more organizations and hedge funds programs. Our clientele jumped to five the first few months of operations. We accumulated an incredible volume of interest. The success around the introductory online trading tool and the resources pulled from our inaugurating patronizers became a spur to broaden our tentacles and gracefully do more. This involved us assembling a line of trade bots because the simple math trading platforms will not tell you is the more the users, the less practical it is for bots to deliver preset results. 
Due to this, we enlisted even more hands, not ignoring our recruitment prerequisites and employability assessment. With this workforce, we generated two more 24-7 trading bots with one hosting its services using verified cloud storage. This was a breakthrough for the Craynet team as volume or capacity of storage predicates clientele foothold. Consistently pursuing growth, Craynet created an intuitive recruiting process, enlarging our staff and equipping them with refined networking abilities as we focused on establishing and installing more bots to our catalog in order to meet and provide service our target of ordinary and extraordinary crypto traders. Our unique bots and unostentaneous mode of operation are indicative of how much success we have had the past five years. And we may not have reinvented the wheel, but it is 2021, and Craynet still executes all bots securely and consistently, so we pretty much have a gravy train in our hands. Introducing Craynet, the Crypto AI Network. Craynet is a revolutionary community of crypto traders and investors whose core is the application of technology to the crypto trading space. The Crypto AI Network was founded in 2015 by a group of industry giants across a plethora of fields spanning trading, investment banking, blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, data, and fintech, who came together with the sole purpose of being head starters in the advancement of the application of their respective skills to the new chip off the block, cryptocurrency. The Craynet journey commenced initially as an attempt to collude efforts to build the first AI software that could automate crypto trading, just as it was being done in other forms of digital trading. By February of 2015, the core team was set up. Initial funds required to pull off the project were pooled, a research and development center was established, and the Craynet project started. By December 2018, the first Craynet crypto trading bot was launched and privately sold to our very first institutional traders. Our API endpoints were open to institutional investors and implemented on two cryptocurrency exchange platforms. Following a streak of weekly gains on both exchanges where the Craynet bot was integrated, the Craynet bot was recalled from the first exchange, citing compatibility concerns as the reason for getting recalled. A couple of weeks later, the Craynet bot was recalled from the second exchange, citing similar reasons. This was suggestive of a collusion from both exchanges, and upon that realization, the dream for the new era of Craynet began. We needed to be a one-stop platform for all AI innovations and clients looking to harness the power of AI in the crypto trading space. The challenge, however, was the funds required for the research and development of this platform. Thus, the idea to commence Craynet's crowdfund began. The Craynet team began an expeditious global search of already integrated and compatible crypto trading bots that met our standards and requirements. By 2019, we had identified six bots that qualified through our very strict scrutiny. The next phase of our operations was the partial personalization of the identified bots to comply with our preferred trading strategies and market indicators. We then proceeded to make outright purchases of some while we had to settle for lifetime license purchases of others. For all six bots, we have legal provisions that allow for us to put them to global and commercial application. The next stage of Craynet's bumpy ride to where we are today is the extensive testing of all six bots, a process which we painstakingly undertook until March of 2021. Based on a plethora of factors, including bot performance and reliability in volatile market conditions, we drew the conclusions to put out only six of the six bots to be used for our crowdfunding modeled platform. And that brings us to the greatest crowdfunding modeled project ever in crypto AI trading space. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Craynet Program. The Craynet Program is the very first crypto AI project that harnesses the power of network marketing to completely utilize presently available AI tools, which were previously designated strictly for private use, 
to generate the funds required for the research and development of the greatest one-stop marketplace for all things bordering on crypto and AI. The CrayNet project includes 1. Development of the CrayNet bot 2. Development of the CrayNet exchange for easy integration of the CrayNet bot 3. Launch of the CrayNet coin as a token to serve as a currency for all AI projects in the crypto space 4. Utilizing the CrayNet exchange to encourage and accommodate all innovations in the crypto AI space To achieve this goal, CrayNet has earmarked the sum of $500 million being funds required for the R&D of the CrayNet marketplace. The business model designed to realize the required amount hinges on putting out our required bots, allowing anyone to utilize them for trading while pooling a percentage of the accrued profits from trading. The CrayNet Business Model The CrayNet business model is hinged on what would be described as the great tripod, artificial intelligence, cryptocurrency, and network marketing. CrayNet boasts of six unique trading bots, all of which have a proven track record of amazing success at handling profitability, investments committed to them. These bots are all codenamed according to the cities of their original developers and are highlighted below. A. Berlin Bot B. Tallinn Bot C. Bangaluru Bot D. Silicon Bot E. Taipei Bot F. Stockholm Bot Each of these bots have specific qualities both in functionalities and capacity that set them apart from each other. The Berlin Bot has a maximum trading capacity of $5 million. The Tallinn Bot has a maximum trading capacity of $19 million. The Bengaluru Bot has a maximum trading capacity of $13 million. The Silicon Bot has a maximum trading capacity of $44 million. The Taipei Bot has a maximum trading capacity of $72 million. The Stockholm Bot has a maximum trading capacity of $337 million. This puts the total trading capacity of all CrayNet's trading bots at $500 million. Each of these bots have minimum entry requirements that are best suited for institutional investors, leaving them out of reach from the middle or low income earners. For instance, the minimum bot deposit to use the Stockholm bot is $15 million and a license fee of $540,000. The CrayNet business model is to set up a community of subscribers who monthly pool their resources together to meet up with the minimum requirements to harness these bots. Numerically, CrayNet's business model is to trade these pooled funds. After trading, 20% of the profits accrued from the 29-day trading cycle is pooled into the R&D fund for the CrayNet project, as well as servicing the referral program. The rest, 80%, is paid out to the subscribers alongside their original investments. How can you make money from CrayNet? CrayNet offers her subscribers three different avenues to benefit from the program, and they are A. Trading B. Referral Program C. Bonuses Trading CrayNet affords you the opportunity to harness the superior trading functionalities of erstwhile unavailable bots made available by our crowdfunding model, the CrayNet Program. The CrayNet Program is designed to function as follows. Investors pay a minimal fee as license fee to use one or more of the six available bots in the program. Investors are then required to make deposit to their trading accounts. The license keys are used as gate passes to kickstart bot trading options. The trading duration for each cycle is 14 days. Investors' funds are traded for the first 14 days. Referral Program one of the great tripods of CrayNet is network marketing. As with other network marketing projects available on the web, CrayNet offers you the chance to make income outside your trading income. The CrayNet program operates a bicameral referral system. First, you can earn referral income from your direct referrals and their downlines to the fifth generation. Secondly, you earn a percentage of the fees paid by your direct referrals as license fees. The CrayNet program is dedicated to rewarding every single effort by every single member of the CrayNet community 
seen as network marketing is a key factor for our business model. Key factors to note about the CrayNet referral program include, it is not compulsory for members to refer anyone. The referral program is simply a reward system for those who refer others. Referral income earned as a percentage of the license fees paid by subscribers are immediately available for withdrawal or can be used in trading. Referral income made by the capital invested by subscribers are available for withdrawal or trading only at the end of the trading cycle. This is because Craynet is all about actual trading and only profits realized from trading can be used to pay out referral income. Detailed explanation of the CrayNet referral program would be provided further down this presentation. Bonuses CrayNet offers a long list of bonuses as additional compensations for the activities and investments of the members of the community. Now, these bonuses include Launch Bonus Early Starter Bonus Bot Accumulation Bonus and a host of other bonuses that would be rolled out as the community advances. Details of these bonuses would be expatiated further down this presentation. The CrayNet Bots CrayNet has a network of crypto trade bots operating under different servers, ready to execute trade orders and accumulate predefined returns within defined trading cycles. Our variety of bots make instant calculations to determine the proper crypto orders and their prices. Trading in a market with our bots front-running your trade cycle is like outside traders competing with an athlete on steroids. These bots have technological advances for making these high-frequency trades over a traditional user tremendously. The Berlin bot can trade a total of $5 million and requires each subscriber to subscribe with a minimum of $750. The expected ROI while using this bot is 31.1% bi-weekly. The license to use this bot costs $50 annually. The Talon bot, on the other hand, can trade a total of $19 million and requires each subscriber to subscribe with a minimum of $5,000. The expected ROI while using this bot is 34.8% bi-weekly. The license to use this bot costs $200 annually. As for the Bengaluru bot, the total trading capacity is $13 million and requires each subscriber to subscribe with a minimum of $20,000. The expected ROI while using this bot is 37.9% bi-weekly. The license to use this bot costs $600 annually. The Silicon bot can trade a total of $44 million and requires each subscriber to subscribe with a minimum of $50,000. The expected ROI while using this bot is 40.5% bi-weekly. The license to use this bot costs $1,200 annually. The Taipei bot can trade a total of $72 million and requires each subscriber to subscribe with a minimum of $100,000. The expected ROI while using this bot is 44.8% bi-weekly. The license to use this bot costs $2,500 annually. Lastly, the Stockholm bot can trade a total of $337 million and requires each subscriber to subscribe with a minimum of $500,000. The expected ROI while using this bot is 49.2% bi-weekly. The license to use this bot costs $4,000 annually. The six bots that we would be making available to the public for the CrayNet program include A. The Berlin Bot B. The Tallinn Bot C. The Bengaluru Bot D. The Silicon Bot E. The Taipei Bot F. The Stockholm Bot Each bot has its unique characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses. For instance, the Berlin bot is best suited for low volume trading and portfolio is spread across a smaller array of cryptocurrencies. The key performance indices and important data of all the bots are tabulated below. Key factors to note. A. The amount stipulated as the expected ROI are not sacrosanct figures. Expedited ROI is curled from our months and years of testing and evaluating the bot's performance and drawing a minimum average. 
that we believe to be extremely difficult to fall short of. B. Subscribers can earn amounts higher than the stipulated expected ROI. C. ROI is paid to subscribers bi-weekly, based on the trading profits generated within the 14-day trade cycle. And D. Craynet does not guarantee a specific percentage of profits monthly, weekly, or daily. No true trading company can give guarantees. The Craynet Referral Program If you have been following this presentation this far, you know Craynet bots are such powerful tools for the price they are available for, making it a bit of a no-brainer for new and veteran investors to join once they hear about our operational system. It basically sells itself. Now, once you activate your bots, your dividends are a certain. However, additional referral-based commissions are dispensed to our members accordingly. After building what is the best bot in the market today, the Craynet team spend a span of months getting at the right method to engage our users' community more and reward internal and external marketing. Now, we aim at creating a community that is conversational, solid, and trust-based. So, we supercharged a referral system that would engender a seamless experience for all our users, keeping you making even more than your stipulated bot trade gains. Craynet is rolling out a transparent and unique referral program. The Craynet referral system operates based on a leadership ranking system. I'll detail the leadership ranks in the Craynet community as follows. A. Tier 1 members B. Tier 2 C. Tier 3 D. Tier 4 E. Tier 5 F. Tier 6 and G. Tier 7 each tier is attained by a combination of three key factors a number of direct referrals b number of referrals from generations of your direct referrals c total referral commission earned by your direct referrals below is a tabulated breakdown of the requirements for attaining each tier tier 1 which is more or less like the beginner tier is the tier level you get immediately you create an account and purchase a subscription with Craynet it's the tier level you have when you have no referral activity to get to tier 2 you need a minimum referral contribution of $5,000 or to have earned minimum referral commission of $75 this implies that you need say five direct referrals who subscribe to the Berlin bot at the minimum entry of $1,000 two direct referrals who subscribe to the Berlin bot with $2,500 each, or even one direct referral who subscribes to the Talon bot at a minimum entry of $5,000. To get to Tier 3, you need a minimum referral contribution of $20,000 or to have earned minimum referral commission of $600. In the case of this tier, this $20,000 would need to be a cumulative of subscriptions from at least three direct referrals and at least one second generation referral i.e. the referral of a direct referral the big question would be what if i had a total contribution of up to twenty thousand dollars but it came from only one person or two people the answer would be simple you must tick all boxes to get qualified to move up to this tier three direct referrals and at least one second generation referral to get to Tier 4, you need a minimum referral contribution of $50,000 or to have earned minimal referral commissions of $3,250. This $50,000 should come from a contribution of at least 5 direct referrals, 3 second generation referrals, and 1 third generation referral. For Tier 5, you need a minimum referral contribution of $100,000. This $100,000 should come from a combination of at least seven direct referrals, five second generation referrals, three third generation referrals, and one fourth generation referral. For tier six, you need a minimum referral contribution of $500,000. This $500,000 should come from a combination of at least nine direct referrals, seven second generation referrals, five third generation referrals, three fourth generation referrals, and one fifth generation referral. For tier seven, you need a minimum referral contribution of $1 million. 
This $1 million should come from a combination of at least 11 direct referrals, 9 second generation referrals, 7 third generation referrals, 5 fourth generation referrals, 3 fifth generation referrals, and 1 sixth generation referral. For Tier 8, you need a minimum referral contribution of $2 million. This $2 million should come from a combination of at least 13 direct referrals, 11 second generation referrals, 9 third generation referrals, 7 fourth generation referrals, 5 fifth generation referrals, 3 sixth generation referrals, and 1 seventh generation referral. This multi-layer requirements for the progression into the membership tiers is an indication of the fact that CrayNet Referral Program doesn't just encourage members to earn from referring others. It encourages the team-building spirit of following up on your referrals, helping and encouraging them to get referrals themselves. CrayNet is a team-oriented program, and this referral system points clearly to that. You might be wondering what these ranks represent and how they affect the income that you make from referring others to the CrayNet community. We'll detail in the section below the referral structure of each membership tier. Tier 1 Referral Structure G1 1.5% G2 0.75% G3 0.375% G4 0.1875% G5, 0.0935%. Tier 2 Referral Structure, G1, 3%, G2, 1.5%, G3, 0.75%, G4, 0.375%, and G5, 0.1875%. Tier 3 Referral Structure, G1, 6.5%, G2, 3.25%, G3 1.625%, G4 0.8125%, and G5 0.4065%. Tier 4 Referral Structure G1 8.5%, G2 4.25%, G3 2.125%, G4 1.0625%, and G5 0.53125%. Tier 5 Referral Structure G1 10.5% G2 5.25% G3 2.625% G4 1.3125% and G5 0.6562% Tier 6 Referral Structure G1 12.5% G2 6.25% G3 3.125%, G4 1.5625%, and G5 0.78125%. Tier 4 Referral Structure G1 8.5%, G2 4.25%, G3 2.125%, G4 1.0625%, and G5 0.53125%. Tier 5 Referral Structure G1 10.5%, G2 5.25%, G3 2.625%, G4 1.3125%, and G5 0.6562%. Tier 6 Referral Structure G1 12.5%. G2 6.25% G3 3.125% G4 1.5625% and G5 0.78125% Tier 7 Referral Structure G1 14% G2 7% G3 3.5% G4 1.75% G5, 0.875%. Tier 8 Referral Structure G1, 16.5%. G2, 8.25%. G3, 4.125%. G4, 2.0625%. And G5, 
1.03125%. The CrayNet Crowdfunding Model As a project, one of the core values of CrayNet is to bring to the availability of middle and low income earners techno-financial breakthroughs that had erstwhile been available only to institutional investors or deep-pocketed investors. Now, this leaves a massive imbalance in the distribution of wealth in an era where the blockchain technology should be an opportunity for a semi-reset in the world's financial distribution of wealth. A closer look at the CrayNet bots and their capacities suggest an imbalance in this regard. I'll explain this imbalance in more detail. Take a closer look and more evaluative look at the table below. The Berlin bot with a trading capacity of $5 million and a minimum investment amount of $750 suggests that if all subscribers choose to subscribe to this bot with minimum investment amount of $750, the bot would only be able to accommodate 7,500 subscribers. The Talon bot, on its hand, has a total trading capacity of $19 million with a minimum investment amount of $5,000. This implies that assuming all subscribers to this bot enter their subscriptions with the base amount of $5,000, the bot would be able to accommodate only 3,800 subscribers. Likewise, the Bengaluru bot with a total trading capacity of $13 million and a minimum investment amount of $20,000. Now, like earlier illustrated, if all subscribers to this bot chose to come in with only the base amount of $20,000, the bot would be able to accommodate only a total of 650 subscribers. The same analogy applies to the Silicon bot with a total trading capacity of $72 million and a minimum investment amount of $50,000 would imply that the bot would be able to accommodate only 880 subscribers. As for the Taipei bot with a total trading capacity of $72 million and a minimum entry of $100,000, apply the same use case implies that the bot would be able to accommodate only 720 subscribers. Ultimately, the Stockholm bot with a total trading capacity of $337 million and the minimum entry of $500,000 would be able to accommodate only 674 subscribers if all subscribers came in at the minimum entry of $500,000. Conclusively, it can be deciphered that in the best use scenario for all bots, where subscribers choose to invest only the minimum allowed for each bot, the CRAI Net project would be able to serve only 14,224 subscribers. This, of course, is neglecting the extreme likelihood that multiple subscribers would subscribe to the same bots with amounts that far exceed the minimum entry requirement. This defeats one of the core goals of the CrayNet project, which is to make these bots available to as many subscribers as possible. Being a project that targets the financial elevation of the low- and middle-income earning class, we expect to have the bulk of our subscribers from that income level. However, with many of the bots involved in the CrayNet project beyond their reach, the core goal of this project becomes dead on arrival. This warranted the creation of a crowdfunding model that allows anyone and everyone to get access to all and any of the bots involved in the CrayNet project irrespective of their entry amounts. This brings us to the CrayNet Crowdfunding Program. The CrayNet Crowdfunding Program involves the crowdfunding method applied to the pooling of resources to attain the minimum amounts required to access certain bots. The CrayNet Crowdfunding Program is designed to suit both private and public crowdfunding goals. The CrayNet Private Crowdfund the CrayNet Private Crowdfund is designed for friends, family, and investing partners to pool their resources privately after previously agreeing on self-designed terms of investing. For the sake of this presentation, we'd make an analogy of five friends. Mr. A has $135,000 in his CrayNet account and wishes to get access to the Stockholm bot so that he can access higher percentages of profits, but he cannot seen as the minimum entry for the Stockholm bot is 
He then reaches out to his friend, Mrs. B, who has a wallet balance of $278,000. Together, they reach out to other friends and family members or business partners, Mr. C, Mr. D, and Mrs. E, who have $52,000, $47,000, and $98,000 respectively in their wallet balances. Collectively, they decide to pool their resources together to subscribe to the Stockholm bot. Mr. A decides to invest $125,000. Mrs. B decides to invest $250,000. Mr. C decides to invest $50,000. Mr. D decides to invest $40,000. And Mrs. E decides to $95,000. This puts their total investment amount at $560,000, which is above the minimum required to subscribe to the Stockholm bot. One of the participants, say Mrs. E, initiates the crowdfund, inputting the emails or user IDs of the intended members, and all they have to do is accept the crowdfund invites on their dashboards and the training commences. License fees required for the chosen bot is individually deducted from all participants on the basis of their percentages of input. Likewise, accrued profits are distributed to all participants based on their percentages of entry. The Craynet Public Crowd Fund Now I'm sure what must be going through your mind would be that as much as the Craynet Private Crowd Fund does a lot to increase access to bots with higher minimum entry requirements, it still doesn't do a lot for low and middle income earners who might not have access to the kind of network of friends, family or business partners who can pool resources to access their preferred bot. I present to you the public model of the Craynet crowdfunding program. The Craynet Public Crowdfund is a more open-ended crowdfund program that is designed for individuals without a private network of friends, family or partners enough to access their preferred bots. Now, this model allows a person to create a crowdfund, which can be publicly accessed for other intending members to join and purchase a bot. Now, for the sake of this presentation, I'd make an analogy to paint a picture of how the public crowdfund works. Mr. A initiates a public crowdfund to purchase the Taipei bot, which requires a minimum entry of $100,000. As a rule, he must contribute at least 20% of the crowd fund amount to initiate it. This implies that he automatically contributes $20,000 to the crowd fund. The crowd fund is left with $80,000 to get activated. Mr. A sets the parameters that are prerequisite to joining his public crowd fund. The parameters include number of persons he wants to join the crowd fund, how much he wants each person to contribute, etc. He gets to make his choice on questions such as, do you want the rest amount, $80,000, to be contributed equally by another intending members? If yes, he'd have to input the number of persons he wants to join. The $80,000 is then divided equally into the number of members that can join. If he opts to make it open to whoever wants to join, to enter with whatever they want to join with, he'd have to select a minimum entry amount that each intending member can join with. Mr. B goes to the crowdfund section of his user dashboard and searches for a public crowdfund that he can join. He sees a list of available public crowdfunds and searches for which suits his personal goals. Now, for instance, he sees that Mr. A has a fixed entry public crowdfund that allows eight intending participants to enter with $10,000 each. He also looks out for how many of those spots have been taken relative to how much time his crowdfund has left and decided whether or not to join Mr. Ray's crowdfund. If he decides to, he'd have to wait until all positions are filled and the crowdfund can get activated. If the crowdfund isn't activated when the time elapses, he automatically gets his money back in his wallet balance and opted out the crowdfund. Mr. C goes to the crowdfund section of his user dashboard and searches for a public crowdfund that he can join. He sees a list of available public crowdfunds and searches for which suits his personal goals. For instance, he sees that Mr. A has an open entry crowdfund that requires $80,000 to fill up, with a minimum entry of $3,000. He looks out for how many members have joined so far, 
how much is left to fill up the crowdfund, and how much time is left for the crowdfund to get filled up. This defines his decision to join or not. If he decides to join, he'd have to wait until the total crowdfund amount is realized and the crowdfund can get activated. If the crowdfund isn't activated when the time elapses, he automatically gets his money back in his wallet balance and opted out the crowdfund. The key things to note. A. You must initiate a public crowdfund with a minimum of 20% of the proposed crowdfund amount. B. You must define a time frame for the crowdfund within which other intending members can join. After that time frame elapses and the crowdfund is not full yet, each member would be automatically refunded and the crowdfund would be canceled. C. For the open public crowdfunds, you must set a minimum entry amount. The Craynet Bonus System Launch Bonus Early Starter Bonus Bot Accumulation Bonus Bot Accumulation Bonus The Bot Accumulation Bonus is one of Craynet's many bonuses targeted at rewarding extra user participation and subscription. The Bot Accumulation Bonus attempts to encourage a spread in the use of the bot. The details of the Craynet's bonuses would be detailed in the next presentation. Generally speaking, there has been countless trials. Year after year, platforms emerge from the deep to make claims to be exactly this. Craynet is fashioned and has demonstrated to be that shot in the arm independent crypto trading seriously needs. Join us today as we move the wheels of history and change the future.